God, all the glory and all the honor to what he's doing here. We thank God that he's giving people's lives freedom. New testimonies are happening. Whatever was holding them down, whatever was binding them, they are now set free from those chains, from those addictions, from those strongholds. Who are you? Destroyer. How did you enter her life? When she was small. How many generations are you in her family, her bloodline? Five. What happened five generations ago? Her great grandfather. Her great grandfather, what did he do? He killed somebody. He killed somebody. Yes. And that's why you're in their bloodline? Yes. What have you done to her life? Destroyed her first marriage. What else? Destroyed her finances and her physically. You destroyed her physically? Yes. How? What did you do to her body? Over several surgeries, removals. Uh -huh. She no longer can have kids. What is your name? Destroyer. Who else is inside? Just me. Okay, you unclean spirit, your time has expired. And right now, I take authority over you in Jesus' mighty name. And I command you to lose your grip. Lose your grip. Out. Out of her body right now. Out of her body completely. Out of her body right now in Jesus' name. Be free in Jesus' mighty name. No, you free. Get up. Come on, you guys. Give God glory. Give God praise. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. So, Linda, can you please share with us what was the sickness you came with and things that you were struggling with? I was struggling with um, sleep apnea and a lot of other things that have been going on. But the sleep apnea was the one that really was interfering with my life that um, you just don't understand how that can mess with you. It, you can't sleep that well. You end up stop breathing in the middle of the night. And um, so I was diagnosed with that in 2012. And um, after the uh, last Sunday. I so for about four years, you've been uh, with that sickness, right? And did you have to use the machine during the night? Yes, I did. And they had to up the uh, pressure on it here about six months ago because I started to not breathe again in the middle of the night and I noticed because I wasn't feeling regenerated in the morning or, and just didn't want to wake up. Mm -hmm. And so where were you in search of solutions? You went to doctors, right? I went to lots of doctors. This envelope here is just the last four years, not with just one doctor, but six other doctors. 33 years I've got more it'd take a wheelbarrow to bring it all up here <laughs> this is just four years so yeah and was there any solution found for this sickness just put me on the CPAP machine and in the mask at night and that was that was it and I, I've struggled with it because it's hard to sleep with the hose and I woke up with it around wrapped around my neck so yeah, it's, it was time to find something and I thank my daughter for bringing me here. Thank you. Let's put our hands together for God. And Linda, can you please um, tell us what happened during the prayer, when the prayer was offered? Um, I felt a very strange sensation going on in, inside me. It wasn't me and it just was, not me, and I was going, this is the one that's got to go. And I I realized that, and it's the one that's been messing with my life. And as we heard that evil spirit was speaking through her, that he was the spirit of just destroyer, and he was destroying her life and every area of her life. Is that correct? Yes. I'm lucky that um, my second marriage, uh, it's only, he's almost destroyed it a couple of times. So my husband's not here, but I thank the Lord. He's helped me to keep that marriage alive. Okay. And so, uh, Linda, can you tell us what happened after the prayer and when you went home? When I went home, um, 
I started not using the CPAP uh, the full night and because uh, that's what I was feeling. I was going, I'm feeling pretty good about this. And I went, we myself off of it, and I had um, a doctor's appointment that week, um, last week, just after, and with the sleep apnea doctor. And I got there, and he, there's a little disc that you take out, and I gave it to him, and he goes, I came back into the office, and he goes, you don't need this no more. Wow, hallelujah. So doctor told you that you don't need to use that machine anymore, right? And so since that appointment to the doctors, have you been using that machine? No, I have not. And you slept just fine through all the nights? I've been sleeping wonderfully. I wake up, I mean, I, I used to fight to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't fight. My body's awake at 5 o'clock in the morning wow. without an alarm clock sometimes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Something about her deliverance. Uh, where she forgot to mention that when she came home, uh, she started to experience huge headaches and her nose started bleeding. Can you tell us about it? I, I noticed I had a really severe headache and I usually get that just because I've done something wrong or something. But I, I started thinking about it and I was going, and then my nose started bleeding and I went, oh, you're going to come out of there, bud. You're finished. You're going under my feet. That's where you're going. I blew him out, and it was it just covered the, my handkerchief. So I haven't had the, the headache left after I did that. So, yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Even sometimes after you've been pray, prayed over here, you go home, but the Holy Spirit continues His work. And this is what happened. When she went home, Holy Spirit continued the deliverance process. And when she went to the doctor, He told her, no more sleep apnea. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So Linda, we rejoicing with you today for this amazing, amazing thing that God has done in your life, in the life of your family. Can you please share a word of advice for people who might be facing a heavy sickness? What can you tell them? Seek God out. He is here for you. And believe. It, it, it's real. He is real. He is our Savior. That is what he's here for. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much for sharing this testimony.